Hello traders, uh, welcome on a daily analytical report with Alpari. My name is Tomasz Wisniewski and I'm the chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis. Well, um, it's a busy Friday so far and it will get even more uh, exciting uh, soon because in a half an hour we'll have non-farm payrolls, um, uh, the most important data for uh, traders and investors. Why it was uh, busy so far you probably know because we had uh, US uh, military intervention in, in uh, Syria uh, they fired uh, 50 60 uh, missiles uh, they destroyed uh, completely one of the air bases uh, in uh, Syria as a response for a chemical uh, attack uh, that happened a few days um, ago uh, well um, American army uh, is obviously present in uh, Syria for a long uh, time uh, but this is the first open attack not made by special forces uh, this is a direct intervention and uh, we are having a capital movement to save heaven assets obviously as uh, it's always like that uh, it's always a first reaction of the um, financial markets that uh, when there is a, a start of a new conflict or a small uh, trigger that can uh, later uh, develop in a serious uh, conflict we do have a uh, we do have an escape to save and um, have an assets but uh, those movements uh, in the long term are not sustainable right uh, many times in the history where there was a um, conflict then the world uh, first the stocks declined but after that uh, they went up and I'm not uh, talking only about stocks but in general in the first stages you have uh, um, escaped to safe heaven assets but after that uh, more riskier assets uh, gain in uh, value it's not always like that but it's happening very often uh, it's happening more frequently than the other way uh, apart from that we're waiting for uh, non farm payrolls and I will show you uh, what are the um, expectations uh, here we do have uh, quite low expectations 180 uh, which uh, especially with uh, much better ATP data is a relatively low uh, value uh, so there is a chance that we'll have a um, positive uh, surprise here and that we'll have a higher number mm, uh, but I read some reports that because of um, snowfalls uh, we can get actually a, a, sm a smaller number uh, but always as it is before uh, the data is uh, released it's never never uh, clear uh, let me show you only the most important uh, news we're still having a uh, Trump uh, Xi Jinping meeting uh, just from the calendar what do we have as a non farm payrolls unemployment rate as always also uh, they, the similar data from uh, from Canada uh, and uh, maybe let me show you what's uh, gonna happen next week because it uh, also will be um, important uh, next week serious data starts uh, on Wednesday and it's a serious data for Canada and for our uh, for Great Britain uh, we do have uh, data from the job market from Australia on Thursday and on Friday retail sales and CPI from United States so you can see that actually this uh, this calendar um, is uh, almost empty well we do have Easter um, and uh, usually that time markets are not very uh, busy especially from uh, from Europe as you can see not uh, much of the data from Europe Wednesday empty uh, Thursday only from uh, Germany uh, Tuesday all right we have a pack of data from uh, Great Britain uh, but when we're gonna approach Friday you can see only data for, from uh, from United States so actually um, the biggest volatility we should get today because for the whole week the market was waiting uh, for non-farm payrolls 
uh, volatility was very low. Uh, we had an increase in volatility uh, overnight because of this uh, military intervention in Syria. Uh, but now uh, markets are muted and we are in a waiting mode. But in 24 minutes everything should be uh, clear. Uh, let me show you uh, what's uh, happening on the uh, charts. Uh, maybe I will start with uh, indexes uh, and uh, oil. It's always an interesting uh, thing. As you can see, maybe on hourly chart, we started with a, a downswing on S&P 500. As you can see overnight, because of this intervention, we had a, a huge, uh, maybe not huge, but still a downswing. But as you can see at the beginning of European session, it was erased, right? This downswing was denied. Market um, climbed um, uh, fast. And that's what I'm telling you about on almost every daily analytical report that um, during a bubble stage, and I do, be I do believe that we do have a bubble on stocks. Uh, during that stage, every single dip, every single fast downswing is being used as a, a trampoline, right? Is uh, being used as a great opportunity to buy. And that's what's happening. That's what's happened with every single dip for the last few months. For some, that was just an occasion to buy with better lower uh, prices. From the technical point of view on S&P 500, what we are having here is a wedge. Uh, wedge is a trend continuation pattern, you know that, and we should expect a breakout first of this lower line of this formation and then this uh, upper line of this formation. Next instrument uh, I have for you is DAX. Uh, DAX, uh, German brother of S&P 500, what we're having here is a, a channel up formation. Uh, we had a false breakout of the channel up formation, but uh, it's um, right. And the uh, strong uptrends in bubbles, it can happen and it, uh, it does not have to uh, have a serious negative meaning, right? Um, well, here it calls the reversal. Uh, but normally uh, those uh, signals in, um, in, in bubbles are not so relevant. What we are having here is a kind of head and shoulder formation. Uh, why I'm telling you a kind of because this left shoulder is not the best one I, I saw in my life. But we got a breakout of the neckline, then a classical comeback to close the gap. And now we're having another gap here, which uh, they tried to close uh, the gap, but they didn't manage. Uh, so maybe another uh, candle up and we will be ready for a downswing. That's my view on, uh, on DAX. Uh, also a reminder, right? You know that in 20 minutes, non fund payrolls, uh, stay safe on the market. If you're just starting your experience, uh, you're starting your way on the forex market, uh, may, maybe you shouldn't have an uh, open position on a real account. On a DMA account, yes, fair enough, uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, but on a real account, if you're just starting and it will be your first non-fund payrolls, maybe it's not the best idea, especially that uh, market is, um, is waiting for this, uh, for this number. Uh, and it should uh, trigger uh, higher volatility. So I'm just warning you to stay safe, always safety first. That's what uh, we are focusing on. We are not encouraging you to trade as much as you can. Uh, I'm trying to teach you to be as safe as possible on this, uh, on this market. So uh, reminder, in 20 minutes, non fund payrolls, uh, please respect your capital tr and try to stay safe. Okay, uh, I would also like to show you oil, uh, which uh, where we had a, a spike. Uh, obviously, Syria is not the biggest oil producer in the world, in the region. It's, uh, oil output there is uh, really small. Uh, but uh, intervention in this country 
brings uncertainty to the, to the whole region, right? And this whole region is well known for uh, being a top oil uh, supplier. Uh, so that is why any uncertainty surrounding those countries uh, well it's hard to tell you about uncertainty if war in Syria is happening for the last six seven years uh, right but um, this um, uh, this intervention of uh, American army American military uh, brings a new player to this game Obviously, but uh, as we said, we all know that Americans were involved in this, con uh, in this conflict for a long time. But uh, this time it's different because it's an open intervention. Uh, but uh, coming back to the charts opened, um, uh, we do have a, a negative sentiment uh, across uh, the a region which affects uh, the oil price and WTI oil is advancing higher. Uh, they um, went through this resistance 51.8 uh, and uh, currently this will be the closest support. We do have a nice uh, reversal and most probably this level will be used now as a, a support. Actually what we can also see here is a potential correction equality movement I think so that those corrections are, uh, are the same. This one is a bit uh, deeper. We, we, we can have uh, this uh, scenario of the price bouncing now or we can remove this one. We can remove this one and maybe the price will like to make a deeper correction here we will uh, see there is a nice uh, trend line here so actually price bouncing from this level wouldn't be a bad idea at all from the technical point of view obviously okay that were uh, two major indexes and oil now let's go to currencies Uh, what we are having on uh, American dollar to police water, you know, uh, for a long time we are observing this, uh, uh, this um, Okay, I'm sorry, we are back. Uh, we are observing this pair for, for a long time and we had a breakout from this flag formation. The price uh, went to the uh, sideways trend. Uh, and as long as they are above this horizontal support, we cannot um, say that there is a sell signal here. We have to wait for a breakout of this lower line and then we will be able to uh, spot a uh, chance for a, a deeper downswing. Uh, British pound to American dollar. Let me delete those indicators for you to not confuse you. Uh, what we are having here is a symmetric triangle formation and we are waiting for a breakout here as well. Uh, there were uh, chances that we will attack the upper line of the symmetric triangle but now the price is, uh, is going a little bit lower. Uh, so here also wait and see approach. Uh, British pound to Canadian dollar. We are uh, having um, a sideways trend as you can see two weekly candles. Price didn't change much but we are still under the influence of this bullish engulfing candlestick formation which uh, we spotted at the beginning of the year. Australian dollar to New Zealand dollar. This pair we are um, tracking for a long time because uh, we had a nice uh, technical pattern here, right? A downtrend, uh, the price broke uh, the downtrend line, uh, inverse head and shoulder formation, left shoulder head and right shoulder. Uh, there is a neckline here. And I said as long as we stay above the neckline, the sentiment is positive. Uh, maybe here. 
this can be a little bit smaller I would say like that okay as long as we stay above this line the sentiment is positive we are above a trend line maybe we can adjust it like that uh, this uh, line of the wedge was uh, broken but actually it can be a flag as well right the price can go uh, here for example and bounce from the uh, trend line so i can remove this line we broke uh, this line removed but we are still having two major supports trend line and a neckline and as long as we stay above the purple area the sentiment here stays positive gold gold went significantly higher okay gold went significantly higher we are we beat recent tops here um, horizontal resistance dynamic uh, resistance and we are waiting for the price to get to $1275 per uh, per ounce where there is this resistance um, created by the line connecting recent lower highs one one thousand two hundred seventy five because it's here it's a dynamic support so it depends uh, from the acceleration that the price will get but it is more or less uh, here where uh, we can expect an impact uh, of the price on this on this line as long as we stay above this uh, support 1250 uh, 55 dollars per ounce the sentiment is positive an american dollar as you can see well we got new lows uh, today but the volatility the volatility is around 50 pips for the whole week so it's not very impressive even fomc from uh, wednesday didn't uh, manage to trigger any bigger reaction so we are below horizontal resistance here 107 actually 107 uh, 1.07 and uh, over support on 1.0615 as long well the price making lower highs and lower lows but for me this uh, trading this week was just a sideways trend and uh, as long as we stay uh, between those two lines there is no uh, perfect trading signal we just have to wait for an initial reaction on the non-farm payrolls and then we will be able to um, to see to spot a decent trading opportunity because so far it's just wait and see approach everybody's waiting and no hard signals here so wait and see euro to uh, japanese yen what we are having here is a long-term downtrend flag and now we are just bouncing from the lower line of the flag and as you can see on h4 candle uh, h4 time frame you have a long tails here and three in a row it shows us that this support is being defended but for how long they can survive as you can see the selling pressure increases why is that because we do have a uh, horizontal uh, support but we do have uh, lower um, highs so every single bounce from this level is lower as you can see this one uh, this one is uh, 130 pips this one is 100 pips this one so far is 50 pips this is a descending triangle and descending triangles are very good trading opportunities for breakout traders and this um, uh, place a sell stop wouldn't be a bad idea a sell stop is an order which uh, opens a sell order uh, which uh, triggers a sell order once the price uh, drops to this level right um, sell stop here for some of the traders 
can be a decent idea. Obviously, it's not our recommendations because uh, we cannot give any recommendations, but uh, definitely many traders, many breakout traders see this opportunity and they will agree with me that uh, this, if you go for breakouts, uh, if you like breakouts, if you go for breakouts, uh, this looks like a decent occasion to uh, for for a breakout. American dollar to uh, Australian dollar to American dollar is usually correlated uh, with gold. Gold is advancing higher. Australian dollar to American dollar is going lower. Um, so the correlation is broken recently, but as you can see, Australian dollar to American dollar met a, a local horizontal support here, uh, which uh, looks potentially uh, for a good place to buy. It was a support after breakout. It was resistance, resistance, support, support, and now we are testing it again. But as always, when you're a price action trader, you have to see for of, um, a reaction here, a bullish reaction. Um, well, hammer, hammer, hammer. Is that a bullish uh, reaction? Yes, but it's not s not too convincing. Maybe a small upswing. After that, a uh, double bottom or uh, invest head and shoulder formation, and I will uh, I will start thinking about that. So far, I think it's a bit too early. Sideways trend, we do have also on Euro to British Pound, as you can see that's a symmetric triangle, long-term symmetric triangle, we are exactly in the middle of uh, that symmetric triangle and we are just waiting for a breakout. Once this breakout will happen, it should create a significant strong movement. New Zealand dollar to American dollar, what we are having here is a bounce from the uh, long-term uptrend line. And so that's a bounce, that's a correction of this bounce, and if the price will break the upper line of this uh, flag, that will create a buy signal uh, here. Uh, today we'll finish a bit er earlier our uh, daily analytical report, a few minutes, because um, we need to make a live coverage of the non farm payrolls uh, for FX Street. Uh, live uh, reactions, so uh, live comments about the market reaction. Uh, so I will have to excuse you um, a bit uh, er earlier. American dollar to Canadian dollar. Here we also are waiting for a um, reaction on non farm payrolls, right? We do have this long term support, we do have this long term uh, resistance. Uh, dynamic resistance, horizontal resistance, uh, mid-term horizontal support. So we are just waiting. The price is not making higher highs and higher lows, lower highs and lower lows. And the price uh, from the October is just moving sideways. As you can see, sideways all the time. American dollar to Swiss franc. Uh, what we are having here is a ascending triangle and a wedge and, and a flag. From the technical point of view, we should see a breakout of the upper line of the flag formation and the price testing this horizontal resistance. And last but not least, what is that? It's um, uh, American dollar to Japanese yen, which is creating a small uh, triangle formation here. We are exactly in the middle of this triangle, so here we also uh, we are also waiting for a, a breakout, which is not coming, but uh, in five minutes, maybe it will come and it will show us a direction. Okay, so remember non fun payrolls, stay safe on the market. Uh, if you're just starting, watch and learn. In five minutes, you will see a bigger volatility and maybe uh, we'll have uh, a few breakouts, which will trigger nice uh, trading uh, trading signals okay thanks very much uh, and obviously half an hour break and after that we are back and we are back with a new webinar about candles and price patterns brand new webinar first time uh, this topic uh, it will be very interesting i prepared uh, loads of examples for you so stay sharp 
short break for emotions on the market and we're back in 25 minutes thanks very much and see you